Ladies and gentlemen, back with another cube draft and in pack one. Because the standout coalition relic is nice. Chrome Mox is nice. Lotus. Just all the mana rocks, always good. With a Nissa if we just want to jam every planeswalker. You just take Oath of Nyssa and play every Planeswalker we see? I'm really tempted. <laughs> I am really, really tempted just to play every Planeswalker that comes across. Alright, we're doing it. I'm drafting every Planeswalker we see. Oh my god. Coalition Relic's just so good. And like, Ravages can be good, Mana Leak's good. But, <laughs> drafting mono planeswalkers. Alright, let's see. Tathian's a planeswalker, right? Is he a real planeswalker, though? I don't know, I don't think he counts. Take Green Sun. I feel like I'm already cheating. No, but it, it doesn't doesn't hit with Oath of Nyssa, so, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to take Green Sun Zenith. Which means just not see planeswalkers. Alright, here we go. We've got Chandra. Alright, Planeswalker number one, and we see Armageddon as well. If we can wheel either this or Ravages of War, that'd be really nice. But, take Chandri here. Problem as well is, I'm gonna have a lot of the same. This is going to be so bad. We're going to fail so hard with this. I can see it now. <laughs> Um, sort of body in mind. Diabolic Edict's good, Deck and Stone's good, Villainous Wealth is not what we're doing here. Take sort of body in mind. This card's just really good. I've not seen many Planeswalkers so far, which is unfortunate. How are we, how are we meant to play Mono Planeswalkers if we don't get any? only draft planeswalkers or well, every planeswalker we see even over like super good things no that's a lie i'm gonna i'm gonna take some good things over planeswalkers all right a frail lease what are we what are we losing out on here nothing major all right so so far we have a, a six drop and a five drop planeswalker Oh, well, that's fun. <clears throat> so, it lets you use any color mana, not just from land. Alright. Oath of Nyssa is sweet. really like the Alpha Frailies. Just wanna know why she's wearing an eye patch. She's like a pirate. <laughs> um. Could take Magus of the Moon. Could also take Ulamog, which is not a bad call. Uh, but Magus of the Moon will turn off all of our opponents, like, like if we were in a multicolored deck, turn off our opponents' mana, and we'll still be able to cast our Planeswalkers. <coughs> so if we keep, like, a green-red base, and then just play... <coughs> Oath of Nyssa and some, like, other, other good things... I think we'll be doing pretty well. Ah, Bonfire is really nice. I think I'm gonna take the Signet here. All right. D do we take the Abyss? I think we just take Bolt. Huntmaster is also really good, but we'll just take Lightning Bolt here. We just like need Turn on Oath of Nissa and we win. If we get like a channel as well, Turn on Oath of Nissa, turn to channel. Cast all of it, uh, actually. Yes, yeah, so you can spend mana as if it was any color, not just colored mana. So yeah, you can you can use channel mana to go crazy. And we, we, we will have Ravages of War. Do we want it, though? I, th I kind of think we do. Like, jam Planeswalker, Planeswalker, blow up every land. The Planeswalkers that we have draw us a lot of cards. 
All right, so probably just take the burn. Could take Kithian, who is technically a planeswalker, but I don't see it actually being good. And it's it's not a real planeswalker. He a creature. He just becomes a planeswalker when he gets angry enough. Um, take Bayou. Could take Crater's Claws as well, but I think I'm gonna take the Bayou here. Villainous Wealth. Nah, let's take Brimstone. Yeah, we we may splash for Villainous Wealth. Got a snipe, seems kind of bad. Swift Spear? Take a Swift Spear. So it looks like red's pretty damn open. Like, we got Lightning Bolt, Fire Bolt, Swift Spear, Magus of the Moon. Need more damn walkies. Need all the walkies. Just take dual caster mage. Probably not gonna play him. I may even just go into mono red. <laughs> Can at least sweep mono red cards. Like red white ravages. Oh. Alright, so I said I'm taking power over planeswalkers, so that that's just a thing I'm doing. Anyone that doesn't do that, even when they're doing stuff like this, is just an idiot. So and it's on colour as well, for the most part. Like a base is kind of red green. So it's looking, it's looking pretty damn good here. So Thrown Dynamo, Mox Diamond. Doretti obviously would be our next pick. <clears throat> Cozy as well. Got the Mox. Alright, this pack taking Tamio. And Avacyn's Pilgrim, which is pretty nice. Tiger, Trop. Tamio. Wildfire? We can play Wildfire. It's kind of like Ravages of War, but castable in our deck. Other than that, considerations... Crater Hoof just seems a little too big. We could take Urborg for more fixing, if we pick up some like black cards that we want to play. Also fixes for Villainous Wealth. Dismember's nice. I don't think we can get away with Wildfire, though. I like early game. I'm gonna just take... Yeah, I'm gonna just take the Urborg. Let me see, Koth. Our boy Koth. Alright, let's do it. Get in here. So we're up four Planeswalkers. Which is... I wish we were at more. If I can get, like, some more ways to get Oath of Nyssa out to make our deck not awful. Because if we don't see Oath of Nyssa, so far Tamiyo is just this completely dead card. But, that's fine. Alright, Tezzeret. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. I mean, we have, I guess we have a Mox that we can get for free with Tezzeret. We have Gruul Signet. We have a Sword that we can get with him. But so far, his untapping ability is pretty damn mediocre. Um, nah, I guess, like, Figure of Destiny. Which also seems kind of bad. Here is Downfall. Yeah, grab Tezzeret. Oh, these like five drop planeswalkers. If we take Sulamgar, we can steal our opponent's planeswalkers too. And I want a second Chandra. Take Llanowar Elves. Uh, I guess we're taking Torch of Defiance here. Alright. 
Um, Olivia? Olivia Voldaren, Skull Clamp? Skull Clamp do anything for us? We have Llanowar Elves, we make them 1 1s with Freya Lease. Uh, I'd probably just take a Taxium Probe. Incinerate? We'll take Incinerate. It's already wheels, so that's that's good. We're not we're not cheating yet. Tiger wheels fits pretty well into our deck. This is not looking super awful. <laughs> we probably do want to pick up some blue fixing, just in case we don't see our oath of Nyssa. I'm feeling not very confident about our deck. And we have one hit with Green Sun Zenith so far. But if we get some blue fixing, we have the black fixing. And then some white fixing for Ravages of War. I don't know if I'm going to play it, but... It would be fun. Red looked super open. That's for sure. Um... So this pretty much only hits good things. And I think we want to be playing blue as well, so I might cut Magus of the Moon. So like it's, it's either gonna like bolt something, like good bolt or bad bolt. Or it's gonna get mana. Lotus Cobra fits in really well. Here, probably just take Dark Dwellers though. Unsure if playing at this point. But again, Dark Dwellers is just another one of those cards that's gonna hit. And we get a Chandra. So we have three Chandras, which is like too many. Probably not gonna play Pyromaster. Time Twister, Soul Ring, Tezzeret. Just don't wanna play that Tezzeret. We're not really on those colors, and at this point, it's, it's a bad take just isn't good yet. So we're just going to take Soul Ring. I like Time Twister though. And Consecrated Sphinx is good. But again, we're pretty light in blue so far. We have like no fixing for blue. So Soul Ring's the pick here. This is, we're not casting that Tezzeret in a million years at this point. Like, and again, he's not good. Like for what we want to do. Jit through the breach and Nahiri. It's gonna be in here. Also, Mana Confluence is a uh, pretty good pickup here for us. Mm, but grab that Nahiri. Gary Xenagos. Xenagos is just right on track. Just perfect for for our deck. Also, Breeding Pool here. We have such terrible fixing. Could have made actually a really good deck. Seeing some of the things that have gone past, but no, I wanted to jam Planeswalkers. Um, so either I'm playing Shardless or I'm playing Magus and relying on Oath of Nyssa to cast these, which seems kind of sketchy. Um, we have kind of a bit of fixing for black, so there's a chance that we could run Villainous Wealth if we also pick up a bit more fixing for blue. Sort of Body of Mind could just be nuts. Balance, strip mine. Fixing in white. Green, white. Mm. Could go nuts with balance. Again, it's just kind of off color. <coughs> I think we just take the land. Gary Relentless, though. Gary's a planeswalker. He said we were drafting mono planeswalkers. <laughs> I do want to be able to cast them though. Gary. Alright. Um, Genesis Wave. Oh. Yes. Like, Genesis Wave at 4 is just kind of cool. All these planeswalkers that we have. <clears throat> Talarian Academy seems not awful in our deck. I mean, it seems actually kind of pretty bad, but fixes for blue. Barely. Grooming Tar Pit's good. Ataka. We could probably cast Ataka fairly easily in our deck, and I do really like him. Plus, it's a good hit for Nahiri. 
So, over Elspeth, who's making dudes. Double white, we're relying on Oath of Nyssa again to cast. Let's pick up Ataka. We saw Twin. We saw Splinter Twin, and let's take Search. And there's Kiki! <laughs> punished! So punished. We have Ravager's Crucible, and we also saw Strip Mine and didn't take it. Oh my god. Abbott. I guess Abbott's the, the plan right now. Burst Lightning. We could pick up Tezza right now. I don't see his playing him. We have such little hits with him. It's just, it's just bad. We'll, uh, we'll just take probably Manic Vandal. Temple of Malady. Do we have any black things that we actually want to cast? Probably just Villainous Wealth. You have my Erota. That's fixing, right? He counts. Gary, there's a black card that we want to cast. Hey, he's at top end right there. Alright, um... Fire Blast. We're gonna play Fire Blast. Probably gonna splash for Villainous Wealth. Make a few cards. Do we just cut out Blue Planeswalkers? Just cut Tezzeret? Manic Vandal, cut Abbott. That kind of doesn't count as a land. Uh, kind of counts as a land. Um, I like Yav Mayorota too much. Probably Shardless Agent since we didn't get a lot of fixing. Probably also not going to play Mages of the Moon. Although, Magus of the Moon isn't awful, especially with Yav my Elder. You can go get basics. Um, I guess, I guess we're not playing Villainous Wealth, which is sad. Could we go 15 lands Soul Ring? Probably not. Let's pick a Una's Prowler. Um, we have a lot of four drop planeswalkers. Seems to be seems to be our issue. Nahiri's hitting really only Dragon Lord Ataka, except for its like other abilities. Like how do we win a game? <laughs> We've drafted this complete pile and we're like, alright, yeah, that'll work. That'll, that'll be alright, and then how do we win a game? It's like all ramp or burn. Probably cut fireball. Yes, 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 yes. Really want to play villainous wealth. It's like we get to Genesis wave our opponent's deck. So it's like we're running double Genesis wave basically. Uh, probably do ready. It's gonna cut anything. Look, it's a good card draw. But he synergizes as well with artifacts, and we don't even have big ones. It's also that same. No, I suppose Tezzeret's good because we can untap like four mana or two, three mana. Search for any of these cards, like, any four of our artifacts. So what's that? We're at twenty-four. All right. We have sixteen mocks. I think we go no islands at all. Should we have to, don't we, because of Villainous Wealth? We can get it with Yav Maya Search. We have Cobra for fixing. Single black hits. Gary Apex Predator. I think we go to zero swamps. <clears throat> One more forest. So now if we get our lands blown up, it's pretty bad for us, but, um... I don't hate this. 
I didn't hate this. Let's. I kind of do hate it. Why did we draft only planeswalkers when we saw them? We just, we just have to like we we can have some pretty explosive starts, right? Turn one, Ruby Soul Ring, Signet Land, have Elf have like five mana turn two. Jim out Freya lease. 